Today, let's take a closer look at the fast pace of high-speed railway development for high-speed trains happening in China. Hi, good day to everyone, Richard Aguilar here and welcome back to my channel. So, if you are new here, be sure to subscribe and push the bell icon for you to always be updated with my new videos. Even though China started its railway projects in early 21st century, still, China's railway projects have achieved a rapid and great development in a very short period of time. But the question is, how did they do that? Well, right now, we are going to take a closer view of some of the high-speed railway project development that's already taking place in China for us to find out and learn what's behind this fast-paced high-speed railway development. So without further ado, let's get into it. Let's get started with this first massive cross-sea high-speed railway construction. This is taking place in East China's Fujian. If you ask when this massive railway will be in operation, well, according to report, this will be in operation by 2022. Next up is this mega project. This is the construction of China's Cable State Bridge for High Speed Railway. As you can see, the 90 meter tall main tower of the bridge has been completely standing. Next up on the list is the construction of 3.5 km long railway project that connects China to Laos. And here is another closer look at how its foundations are built. Now, let's take a closer look at how China's bridges are built and constructed for their high-speed railways. Using big machines and heavy equipment, the construction of China's bridges for high-speed railway can easily be done.
And since we are talking about how Chinese bridges are built for high-speed railways, it's time for us to also talk about how they welded their seamless rail lines for high-speed trains. And since the construction of bridges and the welding of the rail lines are completed, of course, it needs to be tested. So, here is a sample testing done on high-speed railway section in China's Inner Mongolia. Next up is this massive cross-border railway bridge that connects China to Russia. Another amazing high-speed railway construction done in China is the construction of their massive railways in Hong Kong's mainland. Here is a glance of how it was constructed. And here is just one of the many great achievements of China when it comes to building huge high-speed railways for their high-speed trains. China has introduced a new train diagram to enhance the capabilities of its high-speed rails. Ten new high-speed railways with an aggregate distance of 1,553 miles are now operating. The country has witnessed an incredible expansion of its high-speed railway network over the past few years, with its total length now measuring 18,020 miles. This distance accounts for more than two-thirds of the total distance of high-speed railways in the world. With this new diagram, many high-speed train services have been simultaneously introduced. And that concludes my video about the fast pace of high-speed railway development in China. Now, if you have anything to say about this video, please leave your comment below. And that's all for now. Once again, this is Richard Aguilar. Thanks for watching and see you next time.